Hey, this is Chef John Kaluta at Cottage Catering, working on this turkey again. Uh, we're going to teach you how to carve this turkey for the table. First, we're going to make some incisions um, between the legs and the breastplate, the breastbone. We're going to just pull that off and save it for later. This is the way you would carve a turkey in the kitchen, not really at the dining room table. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take the breast, each side, off of the bone. The way you do that is you make incisions on either side of the breastbone and down the wishbone and above the wing joint. Here's the first cut, which is going to take a little bit on the side of the breastbone, to the right in this case, and we're sliding all the way down. This is a cold turkey, which means the knife is going to have a little more trouble going through it than if this is a freshly baked turkey. This is a much easier process, but a lot of the juices run out onto the chopping board you know, um, when you do it that way. This way all the juices are, are kept in the bird until you're ready to heat it up. You see how I'm carving, turning the knife to the, toward the wing to go along the wishbone? So I'm opening that up a little bit, and then just using the tip of the knife, and then trying to cut the, the meat, just push the meat off from the bone, until I get down to this wing joint, and then we're just going to separate between the joints and pull the whole section off like that. And it's basically the same function on the other side, we're going to take the, um, the, the, the other side of the bird off. There we go. Then we have the wings, we're just going to cut, break it, and cut through the wing joints, and we're going to warm those up in a bit. As you can see, we got most of the meat off that bone. Here's the legs. The legs are not as pretty as the, the breast, and they're a little bit chunkier and, and not as nice presentation as the breast for carving. We're just going to pull off the wing a little bit. I'm sorry, pull off the drumstick and then cut between the bones. And I'm going to leave the meat on the drumsticks and serve those whole. This is the part where it gets a little messy. We're just going to kind of break this up a little bit. We have the backbone there, and we're going to pop out the, the, um, the thigh bone from the hip from the hip and the backbone. And then we're just going to make a couple incisions to pull that thigh bone out. And again, when this is warm, you can almost pull this out with your hands. When it's cold, all the juices and meats are congealed, so it's a little bit tougher. And we're just going to rough chop this, this breast, this um, thigh meat, rough chop it, put it in the middle of the platter. Right in the middle. Then we're going to take our breast, and we're going to cut it on a bias. Just going to cut it nice and thin, or as thick as you like. And you can see there's no juices running down, so it's like all the juices are going to be on the tray and in the bird when we go to eat it. And when we get it all cut, we just fan it out a little bit. If you have time, you can fan it out a lot and spread it all over the platter so it covers the whole platter. We do it to the other side. And cover up the rough cut um, thigh meat a little bit. We'll hold that on the side until we get the, um, the wing and the drumsticks warmed up. We we'll put a little chicken stuff on them and cover it up with foil. We're going to pop in a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and hot. While we're doing that, we're going to get our, our breast and thigh meat ready. We're just going to cover this up with um, a grilled chicken stock from Oyster, saran wrap. Yes, we're going to put the saran wrap in the oven, but the foil is going to protect the saran wrap from melting. But the saran wrap makes a nice seal and keeps all the moisture inside the bird. That's ready to go in the oven when it's time. And we're going to finish off the sauce from yesterday or the gravy. Use a little chicken stock to wash out on the container. Whisk it up. We're going to bring it to a boil. You check for seasoning salt, pepper, garlic, um, thickness, and consistency. In this case, it's a little thick, so I'm adding a little chicken stock, which I have to be making next to it. Next to it. And when you get it exactly the way you want, what I like to do is whisk in a little butter. Butter will help smooth out all the flavors and get a nice mouth feel, and you can't go wrong with a little fresh unsalted butter. Make sure it's unsalted as well so you don't add extra salt to your gravy. And once that butter is incorporated and whisked in, it's ready to go. The drumsticks and the wings are ready to come out. We're going to open it up a little bit and we're going to get a little crisp by popping them back in the oven. And we'll put the breast and thigh meat that's been carved on the platter in the oven for about five, five to ten minutes, depending on the oven. And it's going to keep everything nice and moist. You can even see when I take this off that there's steam inside there. And, and there you can see it coming up. You can see the condensation. And the meat is nice and hot all the way through. And you can present it with the, um, the drumsticks and the wings on the side of the bird. You can dress this up however you like. So give it a try yourself. Or give us a call at 504-343-5706 or at mycottagecatering.com. 
Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.